Now this song has one of the hardest riffs in it and it's only three notes. doing well as always. Now Edge of 17 by Stevie Nicks. You may have first heard it if you're of a certain age uh, from the film School of Rock. Ooh. Ooh. I think actually that might be where I first heard it. Or you might have heard the riff from the Destiny's Child song which name actually escapes me. I'll put right here. <laughs> Michelle can you handle this? I don't think you can handle this. That one. Uh, the riff's been played in there. But no, it's Stevie Nicks' amazing song, Edge of Seventeen. And the guitar player on it was the amazing Waddy Wachtel, who played with obviously Stevie Nicks. He played with uh, Keith Richards and the Expensive Winos. Uh, he played on Werewolves of London. Load and load of songs. Um, and load and load of hits. Amazing guitar player. Now, as I said, this is one of the hardest riffs to play and it's three notes. So, you know, it's three notes slash three chords. We've got an E, a C, a D, and an E. All right, um, so. Now, it's worth pointing out that this song was very much inspired by the police song, Bring On The Night. Go and check it out and you'll hear it and you'll be like, oh yeah, <laughs> that does kind of sound the same. Um, but what makes this really tricky is the constant 16th note rhythm which is going on. picking pattern is really really tricky and at times it feels like your wrist is going to seize up um, if you catch Stevie Nicks playing it live sometimes especially in the 70s like what he's on there doing that riff for like five minutes and she's not even walked on stage yet <laughs> and he might do kind of different variations of it you might be sitting there going <laughs> that but as soon as she's ready he gives the count and it's kind of locked in there I remember seeing an interview I think a premier guitar rig run down and he says something like it takes him like six weeks or something to kind of get that strength up there because it's really hard to keep that consistent and it's bang super tight in the pocket and if you hear the original it sounds like he um, is double tracked and so it's slightly out with each other but it gives that cool kind of uh, delay sound, you know. Um, I might add a bit of chorus in post here uh, before I upload it just to give it that kind of bigger um, 70s wobble to it. Um, but it definitely sounds like he double tracked it, which to be honest is even harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he did it once in the, in the record, well, depends how many takes it took. But did it once there and then had to do it again, bang in time. That's the other thing, getting your time in there. So I encourage you to take your E note and uh, you can do it slowly, obviously. kind of um, push on the accent I'm doing. Uh, so you got one, two, three, four, all on the beat, kind of giving that push. Thank you. 
few times myself in gigs and stuff and I need to be warmed up to do it um, if I can't I end up cheating and it morphs into kind of a survivor kind of um, <laughs> which isn't quite the same you know you want that and put a stopwatch on and go for five minutes or forever how long the song is. If you try playing along to the song, it's so goddamn hard to get that consistently in time and completely flawless for the whole song. For, forever how long the song is, four or five minutes. But try and no, find a live performance. I, would, I don't want to play too much, uh, obviously, for copyright on YouTube. Um, but my God, it is so hard to keep that consistent going. <laughs> So you could kind of take this and, you know, take, you know, a pentatonic scale or any kind of scale, actually. Let's get away from pentatonic. Um, an E major scale. And kind of pick each note twice, you know, or three or four times. And getting it kind of synced in there. But, you know, stuff like that can then end up being like tremolo picking if you do do that too much. But. So I challenge you to find a harder riff, which is just three notes and which consists of so much stamina in that right wrist and forearm, you know. Um, Roddy Wachtel, um, he's, 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 a, he's a beast of a player. So um, yeah, give it a go. Edge of 17, man. It's that bucket, 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 those accents. It's not just... You want that? to happen with it. It's not just a tremolo. It's not that, you know, you want that. I hope you're very good and well, and I will see you in the next video, and uh, let me know how your right hand gets on <laughs> after trying to practice this for uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes a day. Um, it would definitely help your picking, trust me. Anyway, I've been Mike Bradley, you've been you. I'll see you in the next video. Mike Bradley signing out. Bye!